Hello and welcome back to the Movies Archives. This is your host, Movies Rex, and we are playing Agrarian Skies. Do All right. So last time we left off, we actually went ahead and made a little bit of an automated system for Botania. It's all right here. Nice. I haven't changed it much since last time other than to actually make the runes automated. Uh, so we can make up any rune we want. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, but it is there. So now we want to actually... So, runes. Look at all those beautiful runes. Actually, for what I wanted, I didn't actually make, need to make the... Um, uh, the sins shards, or runes. Uh, we just need a little bit of everything else. So we need one mana diamond. And we're making up the living wood wand core here. So we need one mana diamond. We need all of the... Elemental, so air, uh, earth, water. We just need one of each. Where'd that fire go? Fire. Spring, where's spring? Spring, autumn, summer, and winter. All of those, and we'll go put those on our altar. And I was wrong. We actually need uh, one more pedestal here. Now this changes up. <laughs> this changes up being able to make this balanced. Because we need nine in total. Nine. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten in total. Sorry. Ten. Ten in total. Now that's because I don't have the Rune of Mana, which I had been prepping, and I just lost it there. Okay, so ten in total is not as bad as I thought. We can we can do that. We just have to make up a couple more arcane pedestals. And we can do that with the arcane stone block. Do we have any crafting tables around here? I don't know. I don't think so. Whoa! That surprised me. And just toss our gold banded wand in there. Cook. Toss it in. Thank you. We get two more pedestals. That should do us. Uh, we just need to set everything up right. Be right back. Now I'm just hoping this works right. It might not. It might. We'll see. I'm just going to put all these down. Don't think it really matters what order we do it in. Just as long as we have them all down right. All right, I think we have everything set up. I got all the uh, essence or V or whatever set up and you're gonna work. Hopefully you're gonna work. Draw everything you need to, you can. Okay, you are actually drawing even though it looks like it's getting stuck there. Yeah, this seems relatively stable. This is also minor instability, so we shouldn't expect anything bad. And this is the last of it. There we go. And it's consuming the last of the runes, making... Ooh, what was that? I heard something. Uh, hopefully it's fine. There we go. Dormant living wood rod. Now, if I understand correctly, we toss it in a mana pool. Uh, let's take off our bauble first. Toss in a mana pool. And there we go. Living wood rod. And that should satisfy our quest. Check that out. And there we go. Living wood rod. And we get two charged... Charged silver caps. What does that do? No, oh, it's just that the silver wood... The silver wand caps need to be charged in, in a table with Salus Mundus. And these are slightly more efficient at channeling the four element priors, fire, earth, air, and water. However, if we go back to here to Apocrypha, we can make mana steel caps um, just like that. And they don't need charging at all, and they give you 9% V rate. And using the mana rod, or the uh, living wood rod and the wand caps. You can use mana, mana, uh, in order to uh, use V. So let's actually go ahead and get, what am I doing? I have lots of mana steel. We can turn that. We need one more, just like that. And where is... Oh, there you are. Looking for our workbench. So I think we can just go like this. 
and that just needs my wand and hopefully we have enough one two many there we go and then we just need i guess living wood broad two of you no oh it probably has to be activated hmm to be just like the uh, rod, it needs to be activated by tossing it in mana. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a lovely amount of mana. Not excessive, but a lovely amount. And now will you do anything for me? There we go. Whoa, hello. Capacity of this thing is only 50. We can make this. I just need to charge this up a lot. Um, and then after that, we can make a living wood rod with mana steel caps. Yeah, because this thing, the, the living wood rod already has a hundred. So let's just go ahead and fill up our gold band of great wood wand with a trip to the nether. It's actually a lot easier to see here now that I have the, uh, what is this thing? The alumina lens. Oops. It's actually really nice. Go ahead and grab some of these nodes and be right back. Alright, we're all charged up with a gold band of great wood wand and plonk! Gives us a silver bossed living wood wand. Grab that. Nice. Already has two. Three. Yeah, it's sucking it straight out of our mana tablet here. So we'll be at... Can I just drop it in mana to get it to charge up? I wonder. Just... No. No, I don't think that did anything. I think it has to take it from the mana tablet. So, alright, we just have to wait for that to charge up nicely. Cool. I like that wand. Get that reward. Uh, what else do we have? Great staff of wood. And wand caps. Charged thomium cap. Huh, we we're just talking about this. We need Salus Mundus for that. And we get a Thaumium Boss Silverwood Scepter. Mm. Alright. Alright, so to make the Great Wood Scepter actually isn't that bad. We just need a Great Wood Rod, which is a couple Great Wood Logs, and we have lots of those in our system. Let's go ahead and grab that. And something in the nether disabled the sound on my jetpack, so that's what's going on. Great Wood, we need a couple of them, so four. And just like so. And you have insufficient V, but this one's almost fully charged now. One, two. And we just need the Primordial Scepter. Or the Primordial Charm. Which is just a bunch of shards. It has a balance shard, so we're going to have to make that up. A couple gold, but other than the balance shard, this is actually pretty straightforward. Um, let me get some stuff crafted and be right back. All right, we are back. We're just about to make up some of those older shards. Um, basically, all you need is a couple crystallized essence. Each of these has, well, what it says. That much. So I'm just going to toss this bunch of stuff in. And if I got it right, we got it right. And that gave us back, yeah, one more balance shard. So let's do that again with all of these. And nice. We've got two balance shard, and this thing didn't produce any um, goo, any flux. And so that will allow us to move forward with that. And what were we making? We were making something for that great wood wand, great wood scepter, great wood stuff, the primal charm. And yeah, so we just need to get one of each other type of shard now and move forward. Alright, so I know we have... I've been collecting um, a bunch of this stuff in here. Uh, I know we have a couple air shards in here. Just need one of these, thank you. And I should have one of each other's in here. If not, I can easily collect them. Uh, so we need earth, air, we have an ignis, uh, aqua. That one's easiest to get. Now we need ordo. 
and entropy. Okay, and then we need just a uh, this thing for one thing. Oh, what's the order of this? So air, fire, water, earth, order, entropy. Air, fire, water, earth, auto, entropy, and one of our balance shards, and need to get our wireless terminal up. Couple pieces of gold, one, two, just like that. And just toss our self-charging wand, ding, got that. And then we need this and these two pieces. And this should be, yet yeah, charging up nicely from our mana tablet here. Let's toss that in, and that gives us a great wood stav core. And that should give us one more quest. Da, 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 da. Great wood stuff is awesome. And that gives us a wand focus of frost. Nice. And this can hold 125 of each aspect. Cool. And now I just have to cap it with something. Well, I could, in theory, cap it with mana steel caps, but this doesn't use V, so I don't see why I would do that. Right, let's just take a look at what are the quests we have there. We have wand caps, but we only have one Salus Mundus so far, or one of these, these, which can be smelted into Salus Mundus. Is there any other recipes for Salus Mundus? No, you just need balanced shards. All right, last thing we're going to do today is we're going to make up the charged thomium wand caps. Yes, I said that incredibly slow. Charged thomium caps. That means we need Salus Mundus, which means we need um, several or three balance shards. So this should get us everything we need. And one, two, yay! And now all we have to do is cook these up. And we can just do that, whoop, overshot it. Here in our redstone furnace, that should go relatively rapidly, good. And now we just need to, whoop, oh, look, make the wand caps. All right, so that is just from your nuggets in the hat shape, as per usual. Using you. One, two, three. Great. Three? Oh. <laughs> I overdid it. Oh well. Uh, not such a big deal. And now to charge it. It's Salus Mundus Aurum. Oh. Aurum. Okay. And some Potentias. Alright. Oh, I'm going to need six of them. I bet the quest requires six of them as well. No, it only requires one. Okay, just do that. Oops, wrong one. Cap. Salus Mundus. Salus Mundus. Salus Mundus. Where'd that go? I grab that back. All right, and let's see what we have. Do we have Potentia? Thought we did. Here goes six Potentia. Is that enough? No, we need 12. All right. Now to get Aurum, you can actually go through the nether and find some wisps, and we have a few here. We have Ignis, I think we can cook up nicely. How much of this do we need? We need... We need six Aurum, and each of these has two, so we only need three of these. Just, whoops. Three. Yeah, we just can toss that in there. We're actually running out of space here. I'm going to have to get this part here cleaned up just so that it can work a little bit better. Now, if I recall correctly, this can actually draw it directly out of these Elmbics, so we're going to try that. Um, and just hit this with our wand. Where is our wand? Right over here. All right, let's just hit it and see if it draws the Aurum from there. It's drawing the Potentia. 
but not the Orem. Well, that's inconvenient. All right, well, we can just... Don't need that much cookie coat. Grab this vial. And place it down. It might have also been out of range. There we go. Grabbing the six orum into there. And it should make up everything else nicely. What's the instability on this? Instability was only moderate, and that gives us a charged wand cap. I'll have to do that another time to actually attach that to anything, but that actually gives us a Thaumian Boss Silverwood Scepter. And we can take a reward bag or full heart. I'm a sucker for punishment. We'll take the reward bag. It's a greater reward, and our greater reward is a raw meat block. All right, well, this has been Mobus Rex from Mobus Archive. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us comments and suggestions. We'll be back with you next time. Have a good day. And a wonderful night. Bye-bye.